Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right, just in time, because it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Man, you'd think it's almost spring or something. People are mowing, birds are singing, things are turning green. Man, it is coming up time to get in the RV and go places. So we're going to call this the Going Places edition of Friday's Finds. we got a few boxes to open up. So let's get to it. Box number one. I'm not sure who sent this to me. The Allo Star. This is Allo Star. This is the Allo Star Stabilizer. What do we have in this box? I got, I got some, we got some fun stuff to work with on this edition of Friday's Finds. A nice package. What's in, what's in this bag? Huh. I think we're going to have to we're going to have to figure out how to properly present this item. So we have two sides. Some assembly was required. And it is done. Actually, looks like we have an extra bolt. I had to go find an Allen wrench that would fit it and a socket. That is a half inch socket. You want to put your feet on there. So when it's laying upside down, you want it to look like this. So your ratchet strap is actually upside down. When I, when I put it under the trailer, you'll see how this all comes together. I'm really liking this. So I, gotta, I gotta go around to the trailer and show you how it works. We do have adjustable length on the legs. So if you've got a tall RV, like a fifth wheel, if you don't have the quite so tall, you go to just the, the short one. So let me get around to the, to the, we'll go around to the trailer here in a minute. Let's open another box or so. Let me clean up the mess and we'll open another box. Y'all remember CBM Tech? We had something from them last week. We got another something for them this week. This is going to be exciting. One. This is the Allo Star. Starlink RV ladder, ladderable, ladder palatable mounting kit. We're gonna have to get Trudy Thunder in on this game. Another nice bag. I like, I like, I like it. I like it. It's not real big. What do we have here. That's the mounting collar. Oh, look at that. And another one. And that attaches to the ladder. Another one. Uh, 
that's all there is to it. So now I need to get Trudy, go out to see Trudy. We'll go see Trudy tomorrow. And we'll mount this on the ladder and take a look. These, these are the critical pieces right here. That's why I ended up building my own is because these people had not come out with their version. All right. Somewhere there's got to be instructions. Yes. And tools. So let me read some instructions and get us a motor home. And we'll go, we'll figure out how to mount this on Pretty Thunder and put Starlink on it. That takes up less space in some ways than the current setup that I'm using. All right, all right, let's, I'll clean up. We'll open another box. We are moving right along. We got another box, big flat box. This is from Altio Star. This is also from Alto Star. Same, same as the last company. They're a, they're a two time sponsor for this video. This one is gonna be near and dear to a lot of our hearts. You know what it is yet? Oh, of course you don't. You couldn't see it. You didn't see me split open the fancy job I did, slicing open those seams. Ah, it was so fantastic. And you didn't get to see it. So this is an adjustable RV screen door protector. Right there, just like that. So, this will fit any size RV door. That's pretty substantial. So, since we've got to go out and see Trudy for the other, the previous item, the Starlink antenna, I'll flip this back in here. We'll we'll talk about it out at Trudy. At Trudy's place. We'll go to the next one. Are you ready for another box? Let's do it. The IQRAM soft roof rack pads. This is going to be handy. How do we get it out of here? Comes with a, an instruction manual. Those are always good. When I built that boat, I sure wish I'd have had something like this. Termites re relieved me of the need. So these actually strap onto the roof of your vehicle and provide you with a place to transport stuff. So we're going to go around to the F-150 and, 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 and work with this. But, but wait, I must read the instructions. I'll meet you around front. I would like to tap into the creative part of your brain. And I want you to imagine you're a surfer and you're taking a big old long surfboard down to the beach. But you don't have any way to tie it on to the top of your vehicle. So you break out your rooftop transport system and strap your surfboard down. Icuram has got this thing figured out. There's a couple of different ways to attach these to the rooftop. And you can see it's got a built-in strap. And you could actually thread that through there as I've done over here, but you can thread that through there and it's gonna make that a little more resilient. Or if that's not enough by itself, say you're hauling a, a really long surfboard, something that's got a lot of drag and you wanna double it up, they provide you with a second set of wide straps so that you can double up your strap rather than just the one. 
Now it does, if you're a tall person like me, it is going to be kind of right there on my truck anyway. Uh, I haven't done it on a car, but, but on the truck, it, it's kind of going to be right there in front of your face. Uh, but it is better than just tying stuff to the roof of the truck. So on the front one, I've doubled it up. So I've run the original strap actually through the very end piece to hold that down. And then I added the second one. All of the straps that are included have a tensioning system. So you're not having to figure out ratchet straps or turnbuckles. You just thread it through there and you pull that tight. And it, it holds it. Works really, really great. There's enough strapping, and you have your smaller straps for the for the load. You actually thread it through here to make sure you're even more secure. There's enough buckle points or strap points that you can tie down two surfboards, two ladders, a, a couple of long, a couple of longer boards. So, so you're doing a home remodeling project and you don't want to rent the the uh, the the Home Depot truck. You don't want to rent a truck. You already you've got a car. Well, you could strap lumber down on top of here and it wouldn't damage the roof. This this is a really great idea. I like it. It way it be, it it really will save the it'll save the paint on your car. No question about it. And it's a lot safer for other motorists on the road as well you really don't want to be one of those people that has stuff flying off the top of your car that'll save you from that headache all right now we got to work with stabilize if you have a small travel trailer a cargo trailer that you've converted man really if you if you have any trailer and you want to make sure it's a solid foundation man these stiff these these legs are fantastic i've got it i'm using my little utility trailer because <laughs> that's the best way to demonstrate this works pretty simple you get the, the legs going out at an angle you can adjust the height so that they hold things stable and then you tighten up your ratchet stretch and it pulls those legs in okay so this is a 10 foot trailer uh, normally when it's in this condition if I were to step up on this end the front would pop up but th thanks to the stiff legs doesn't even move ha! that right there that's a good value that's a great buy it really is I don't know if it's going to be in the giveaway or not. <laughs> I like it a lot. Especially for my little trailer. It makes that thing rock solid. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll see come buzzard days if that's going to be in the giveaway. Probably will, though. I got, I got enough stuff. Making a dent in the stuff in the garage. One more load and we'll be, we'll be done with our part of the hauling. I have mounted the mount. The Starlink antenna mount, yeah, I've got it. I've got it mounted. So I took down the the one that I had fabricated. This is a lot sleeker. Looks a whole lot better up there. Let's mount an antenna. Let's put Dishy up. Once once you've got everything assembled, you're done just like that now i found that on my ladder you want to be between the first and second rung and then your top mount you want it to be just below the top rung 
so that you get the right angle on your mast to fit into the socket. Well, that works good. I like it. It looks a lot, it's a lot more sleek and it's easier, makes the climbing the ladder easier. All I need to do now is find one for my Wii Boost antenna. All right, now we need to go look at the door. If you're RVing with your dogs, because dogs like to RV too, but if you're RVing with them, and when we travel with our dogs, we're always afraid that they're gonna, especially the little uh, Tex, the little black dog, he's 15 pounds of muscle. We are greatly concerned that he can just push right through this door i mean there's not much door here you've got a little plastic latch but more importantly you just have screens so if you have your big door open for airflow your dog is quite capable of pushing through this that's where this comes into play it's adjustable to fit any rv screen door both sides will adjust out allowing you to make it fit perfect and it's heavy enough well, that's pretty heavy metal that they are not going to get through there uh, but there was nothing like that on the market when we purchased this coach so I had to fabricate my own, and it's not nearly as, and of course I've got little dogs, and so this was sufficient enough. But if you've got larger dogs, that's probably not even sufficient enough. That is, that'll save your puppy dog. That'll save you from, save you from some heartache too. All right, let's go open another box. Let's say you're gonna install a camera to watch your hot tub. You don't want to mess with a whole bunch of wiring and all of that. You want it simple. You want it portable. Let's say you're a renter and you can't really make any changes, but you want a camera by your front door. This is your solution. This is a Havanachi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hanvashi. Han Hanvashi. Bulb Smart camera it's a wi-fi camera it does not require a permanent mount if there's a light socket available even better check this out so you can either plug it into an extension cord which is <laughs> really handy or you can screw it into a light socket so you need a light socket that one that'll work You don't actually require a reflector, so that can come off. We can put that in place. And now we can install our camera wherever we choose. It is Wi-Fi and it has an app. So let me go sort all that out. And I'll be back. I gotta learn how to use it. Connecting to it was really simple. As you can see on the on the phone where we're looking at it we're using hold on what what app are we using it's it's an app that i've used in the past for cameras the ec cloud app and they give you the if, if you don't already have it installed you scan the qr code you want to connect to a 2.4 a 2.4 wi-fi it won't work otherwise but then you can actually control the camera by moving your finger on your phone. You can look up, you can look down. And what's cool, so as you change the view on your phone,
simply because of where I've got it positioned. That's where the wind is coming from. How's that? You can actually talk through the camera as well. Yeah, this is, uh, I think it's a really good value right here. You can put this in any light socket or you can plug it into the wall or get one of these uh, drop light things that I have, pull that out of the garage, and man, you can set a camera up anywhere. This is cool. I like it. You will too. That brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. Not sure where the next one will be shot. Getting kind of skinny around here. All of these items are available on Amazon. And as usual, I'll provide you with a link in the cards and in the description. If you want the one in the description, you gotta click the more button to open that up. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV's gear recommendation Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. I know these vendors would appreciate you paying a visit to them as well. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That really helps with that YouTube algorithm that hates all small creators. <laughs> if you found some value, click on that thumbs up. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I sure appreciate your time and attention. And for my pay, your generosity is most appreciated. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?